here's another book from Buffy. All right. So got your blanket so you can all cuddle in right here. Right. There we are. All snugged in. This one is called I Thought I Saw a Dragon. It's a very big, wide book. I thought I saw a stallion gallop across the sky. I pinched myself and looked again. And a cloud was scurrying by. Uh -huh. I thought I saw a dragon, his breathing scorched my face and I rubbed my eyes and I looked again. A fire blazed in his place. Look at the fire. A witch flew by upon her broom. She cackled as she spoke. There's the witch. But when I asked her to explain, she poof, disappeared in smoke. I saw two stags with antlers locked. Which one would win the fight? We're missing that page. We can't do that one. Because that page is missing. Okay. As we drove down the motorway, a monster left its lair. But Daddy drove between its legs. What? There's the monster. Daddy drove between his legs as if it wasn't there. Oh, it looks more like a bridge. When we sat down to eat our tea, a duck passed with her brood. Stop dreaming, said my mother then. It's time to eat your food. <laughs> Things are not always what they seem. You're never bored if you can dream. At home, at school, at work, or play. What wonders will I see today? So that book is called Now here's a story that's written by a really good friend of ours. Her name is Cheryl McFarlane and your daddy used to play with her children. And I remember sitting upstairs with her one night and her new book was getting ready and she had all the, they call them galleys. When the book isn't ready, it's not printed yet. And they, she had the galleys out and so we were looking at her story. This one is called Jesse's Island by Cheryl McFarlane. It's all about the islands, like Denman Island and Quadra Island. So there's a letter and it says, Dear Jesse, you must be awfully bored living on an island in the middle of nowhere. There's all kinds of things to do here, like hockey, tennis, swimming, soccer, and going to the zoo, video games at the mall, and eating out, and then catching a movie or a concert. And if it's cold or snowing, the planetarium or museum are fun. The science center is sure to have something new. So there she is, reading the letter. These are all the things that they do in the city. I guess we better invite your cousin Thomas for a visit, Jesse. 
said Jesse's mom. Dear Thomas, said Jesse in the letter, if you come to my island, I'll show you. What will she show him? Water, trees, birds, islands. There she is sitting on her bluff. I'll show you the bald eagles that summer in our giant fir tree and the curious harbor seals that bop their slippery whiskered faces up when we swim to the raft that dad built. There's the bald eagle. And there are the pups. And even on the grayest day, the grayest winter day, we can watch for killer whales traveling up the strait. Have you seen killer whales? It's a happy family. There they go, all the way up the strait. Yeah. Or maybe we'll see a lone minke whale breech feeding. And there's a shy otter family we can see if we paddle very quietly in the canoe. There's the minke whale. And here's the shy otter family. And look, it's got a sea urchin on his tummy. There are so many birds to see, especially in spring. Look at all the birds. Look at them. So this one is an oyster catcher, and this one is a plover. And this one is a sandpiper, and this one is a gull. Kingfishers and coots and mergansers and herons and loons and harlequins so pretty they look painted. We'll explore the abandoned cabin where the tree grows through the roof. See the tree growing right through the roof. And climb up to the point to watch the fairies pass so close it seems that they could crash, except they never do. You've been on those ferries. I'm so lucky to be able to go on ferries. Yeah. We'll throw sticks into the swirling frothy water just to watch them disappear or break up the, on the jagged rocks and peel strips of red arbutus bark until the trunk is silky smooth and we can slither down like snakes. The water crashing. And look, we take the bark off and we can slither up and down the arbutus tree. We'll pick huckleberries midsummer and blackberries in the fall, but my very, very favorite are the tiny wild strawberries of early spring. We can fish for salmon, jig for cod, dig for clams, and set the, the crab trap in the bay.
We'll have fights with giant ribbons of slippery kelp. And I'll show you purple starfish clinging to the rocks and anemones with pink feathery tentacles that close up if you put your finger in here. And periwinkles that move so slow you can hardly tell they've moved at all. And tiny hermit crabs toting empty shells to hide in. And when you come to visit my island, Thomas, you might never, ever want to leave from your cousin, Jessie. That's from her island. It's so beautiful there. Fairies. Here they are. Okay, that's three stories that we got to do tonight. I hope you enjoyed those. I love you. Sweet dreams.